Hi guys, Sherry here from the Fox Giving Crew. How's it going? Alright, so this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for July the 21st until the 28th. Um, so I'm going to be using this new deck by John Holland. Um, so it's like a tarot for the heart. So it has a little slightly different description than this other John Holland deck that I normally use. So I'm going to be going mainly by the pictures and the writer weight description because I haven't read the book fully yet. Um, and of course I'll be using my cards for clarifiers and I'll be using um, the Call It Baron Reed which is another new deck that I picked up. Um, so Wisdom of the Oracle. Alright, so let's give these a quick shuffle. I hope you ladies are doing well. The wedding was amazing. Thank you. For the support and the, the love. You guys rock my world. Alright, so I'm going to do a split divine partnership. So beginning with how the feminine views the relationship with the masculine. Wow. Share the love, the three cups. So you're, you know, um, you feel your heart chakra is activated and you're offering your love. You're offering this you know, chance of union. Um, Three of Cups is union energy. So it is, you know, an activation normally. It's initiation. It's feeling that love flowing through you, which awakens your consciousness. But what I'm really seeing here is holding that heart in your hand and you're offering it to the masculine. So you're waiting for him to take it. The Chariot. Knight of Cup, or Knight of... Uh, Oh my God, Knight of Swords and the Divine Feminine. Nice. So this shows up in your near future position in the Twin Flame reading. So we got movement forward here. Both of these cards represent going forward very quickly. Um, this is a more controlled movement forward. So this is taking control of the reins and directing your energy and attention towards overcoming obstacles and challenges and reaching that goal. So water card is emotions. So there was a quick movement forward and a controlled movement forward in the recent past. The Knight of Swords is also movement forward. It's air. So it could represent an air sign, um, but it's communicating in truth. It's moving forward, um, being the champion, uh, not letting obstacles stand in your way. So you're cutting barriers away. Um, and so either you have moved forward and continue to want to move forward or you are waiting for the masculine to to take that offer and then move forward with the knight of swords um the future position again the divine feminine so this is you stepping into your divinity your true authentic self um and being that loving goddess that you guys are the goddess of love Okay, so what are you resisting? Trust, the Fool card. So you are resisting taking a leap of faith and trusting in destiny. Um, so this is someone who has no attachments, no expectations, just takes that leap of faith. So why are you resisting that? Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, past position. This is very slow movement forward very measured steps, very calculated. Um, I apologize if you can hear kids playing outside. I have a park right out front, so um, yeah, you'll hear screaming once in a while. Anyway, movement forward in the past. So there ha this has been a very long journey. And you know, you, you feel like you've accomplished much, but I'm feeling that there's still some more weight in your future. and. Um, or that you're expecting more waiting or something like that in the future. And what I'm feeling is you're not fully releasing any attachments. You know, what I see here is waiting and looking back at the work that you've put in to this connection towards manifesting it and not really fully just being in the now, being in this moment you know you're looking to the future you're looking to the past now the six of cups is at the present position so again you're resisting either 
reunion or you are maybe blocking out memories or thoughts of your masculine. The Six of Cups is somebody from your past coming back, right? And it also represents innocent, pure love. Um, so it's in your resisting position. You're resisting taking a leap of faith. So maybe there ha maybe the night has arrived and you've been given an offer, but you're resisting taking that, that leap of faith, trusting in destiny. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to pull one card from the Osho Zen for that. So you guys already saw me shuffle it at the beginning, so I'm just going to pull from the top. Five of Pentacles, the Outsider. Oh, the masculine got that card as well. Where is my book? There it is. So she feels like she's locked out of this union, out of this connection. Because this is the clarifier for these cards, right? So she's resisting taking that leap of faith, resisting allowing that union in maybe she feels that she is locked out of it and you know that resistance is coming from the outside you know, just waiting longing um okay so at the outsider the small child in this card is standing on one side of a gate looking through it he is so small and so convinced that he cannot go through he cannot see the chain holding the gate uh, is not locked. All he has to do is open it. Whenever we feel left out or excluded, it brings up these feelings of being small, helpless child. It's not surprising as the feeling is deeply rooted in our earliest childhood experiences. The problem is that because it is so deeply rooted, it plays over and over again like a tape in our lives. You have the opportunity now to stop the tape, to quit tormenting yourself with ideas that you are somehow not enough to be accepted and included. Recognize the roots of these feelings in the past and let go of the pain. It will bring you the clarity to see how you can open the gate and enter that which you most long to become. So, again, feeling locked out of a connection and realizing that you can be free. You know, just let those memories go. Let those thoughts, those attachments, go just release it be in the now in the moment and you realize that you are in fact free okay so a message from your higher self rebuild 16 the tower so the tower comes in very quickly like a bolt of lightning and i, I like this image of the tower because it's not as destructive and painful as as the other images, you know, these women, this man and this woman, they're jumping out of the window, of, you know, to save their life because they have no choice. So this is a very grounded, um, strong structure that I see here. And, you know, there's this pink light over her heart that she's kind of protecting. Um, and she looks a little fearful. So I think the message here that I'm seeing is that... She's not releasing herself fully and allowing that experience to overcome her. It's like she's wearing this garment of steel to try to protect her tower. Um, but ultimately, she's really doing herself more harm. The tower will come regardless. So rebuild is the key word down here. Allow the tower to fall, and then from it, there will be regrowth, new birth of you know life. The Eight of Pentacles three of wands and the queen of cups so past position uh, eight of pentacles this is again putting a lot of work and effort into something you can see that with the knight of pentacles um, so you've done a lot of work on this relationship or it could mean that you have done a lot of work in terms of your independence you know your freedom and uh, financially in the 3d world um, so, and I'm saying that because of the three of wands here, success and victory, more or less, right? You, you're, you're starting to see the reward from um, this work that you've been doing. And the wand is spirituality. So I really see that this has been spiritual growth. Um, and you are being rewarded. And you are on the right path is what I'm seeing here. 
uh, the Queen of Cups future position, so this could represent a water sign, but really this reflects this energy over here with the Divine Feminine being the Goddess of Love, and this is the Queen of Love being, you know, showing and giving unconditional love. This is also intuitive powers as well, but um, what I feel is that, you know, there is destruction, there is going to be a major change in the near future, and what I really see is you may feel that you've put a lot of work into something and you don't quite want, you're not ready to release it just yet, perhaps, or, or the thing that you've been working for in, in the past finally manifests itself in the future and you're excited about it. Um, hmm. Let's read the rebuild card. The, night, the dynamics of a relationship can often be complicated. The longer you've been in a relationship, the more complex it can be. Relationships begin to grow many layers, consisting of joy, sorrows, honesty, and duplicity. As these layers build on top of each other, it becomes increase, increasingly difficult to know what the core of the relationship is based on. What was once love may now appear to be merely tolerance or worse. Even in good relationships, you may find yourself growing apart from the other person. In either case, the weight of these layers can cause a relationship to collapse. So the feminine got the devil card, the ten of swords, um, in the future position. Uh, so there is something that the feminine needs to release. Uh, and, you know, allow that tower to fall is really what I see. And... You know, what I feel here is you're, you're closing your heart off, and in the future you will open yourself back up. You know, give and receive that unconditional love. Um, yeah. Okay, so past position. The strength card, or yeah, that's a strength card. Control. So, wow, these cards are so cool. I'm going to read that one, too. Um, so the strength card. The masculine got that, I believe it was present position for a message from his higher self. So, you know, using strength um, within to tame the beast within. You know, using love and kindness and compassion and creating an environment that, you know, offers um, nurturing you know, uh, in communication as well. So this is coming in the past position. So let's pull the clarifiers first before I read that. Magician, Devil, and Five of Swords. So the Magician, this is the Master Manifester. You have the power to create the reality that you desire. Uh, so it is, you know, starting to manifest your dreams into the 3D, but it's really having this mental clarity and power about yourself the devil card is in the present position so this is a chain that link that is stopping you from fully realizing these manifestations um, so codependent relationship and addiction or self-limiting beliefs the future position is the five of swords so this is conflict and defeat finger pointing now the masculine got this in his past position and the feminine and masculine both got this as a heart-centered energy so it is a major energy that's really coming into play between the two. The masculine and the feminine are letting their fears, their thoughts, um, you know, what if I do this, and they end up doing this. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, they, um, I don't know. It's coming in the future, so it's a fear um, of conflict, or walking away from the conflict. And, you know, this devil is the ego. It's that voice whispering in your ear. So what I feel is that the feminine was able to go within and main, maintain control of her animalistic side, you know, and find peace and stillness within. 
uh, in order to deal with this conflict, this negative energy, this finger pointing. Um, you know, you did this, you did that, you're not good enough. Um, yeah, okay, so present moment. The Eight of Swords, helpless and hopeless. So what's really standing out to me here is, you know, the two choices here. Um, and this vastness, you know, I see the sun rising in the distance. So there is growth in the distance. There's illumination and warmth in the distance. But it's almost like, you know, the feminine feels trapped. So the Eight of Swords is... Um, you know, the self-imposed prison of the mind, believing that you can't move forward. So this is how you feel. You feel like your your paradise is just within reach, but you can't quite make it. The solar plexus chakra, six of pentacles, and queen of swords. So solar plexus, this is, you know, goes really well with this strength card. Um, using love, and inner empowerment in order to deal with the situation but it's you know um having confidence and believing in yourself as well so you felt this strength in the past and that's being brought into the present moment but you still feel powerless in order to release yourself from this mental state which you will eventually be doing um, so the Six of Pentacles is the cohabitation card. This was a future position for the masculine, I think. I can't remember. But anyway, this is sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. So you desire to share, um, you know, you share your life, but share your abundance with other people, with your masculine, and have that energy come back to you, flowing back to you. You want a balance in your life. Um, and you want to manifest what you desire into the 3D and be in that state of, you know, harmony is what I'm seeing. Future position is a queen of swords, so it could represent air signs. Really interesting how all these feminine, um, empowered energies are showing up in the future. So, you know, the queen of love, the goddess of love, your true authentic self, but also the queen of swords is um, somebody who doesn't, take bullshit they'll tell you like it is they'll speak their truth um so it is somebody who would not be in this mental prison they would cut those barriers they would release themselves um so this could also represent communication in the future speaking your truth knowing your truth and and really expressing that without fear without you know emotional attachment um yeah okay so what is future position? Wow, Ace of Wands, new vitality. So this showed up as a final outcome for you ladies. So this is a brand new beginning, starting from zero. New vitality, beautiful. I love, you know, all the colors of the rainbow there representing all the chakras. Um, so spirituality. Okay, your future position, new beginning, starting from zero, that is more in line with your true authentic life. Okay, leaving this past behind, this negativity, cutting the chain once and for all. Wow, the Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Throat Chakra again. So both of these cards represent communication. So we got an 11 here, two Aces, so past position, communication, Speaking your truth, the Queen of Swords would be holding that Ace of Swords in her hand as she expresses herself. So this is also a success card, victory. Okay, so it's making a decision, having that idea grounded into reality and being unwavering. So two new beginnings. Um, this is also Kundalini Awakening as well. The Page of Pentacles could represent communication in 3D. I forgot, wow, yeah, the, there's three communication cards here. Uh, so, Page of Pentacles could also represent planning um, for the future, right? For that Ten of Pentacles, for that long-term goal. So, uh, future position, you need to sit down in, and make some decisions. And this could mean, you know, moving or 
um, taking up a new job, gaining information, or just you know hammering out the last little remaining details of whatever that attachment was that you had, but cutting it away, making a decision, and working towards the future is what I see. And then throw chakra, this showed up twice on the feminine side. It was the first card in the distant past, so communication was very important uh, in the past, and that's what you know has really set you in motion here. Um, but for some reason that communication was stopped, uh, you feel left out, you know, um, but that communication will happen again in the future. So this was also a final outcome card as well. So major communication in the future and it has to do with the new beginning. It's making a decision, sticking to that idea and then working towards manifesting it. All right, so a message from the universe. Wow, refusing to see two swords masculine got this in his fear position. So this is having a choice, and it's really reflective of this kind of energy. You know what I mean? Split. Um, so this is having two choices. Both have far-reaching consequences, and because they're so important, you can't make that decision. So it's feeling stuck. So the masculine, it was in his fear position, so he's afraid to make that decision, whereas the universe is telling you, feminine, to make that decision, to finally walk away from, you know, what it, whatever it is that you need to detach yourself from. And here we have that ace of swords, that decision being made. Okay, so make the decision. Wow, universe card and the moon and the nine of pentacles. Awesome past position so this is the final piece of the puzzle being placed um, this is going through all the stages of illumination and awakening so it's a reminder you've been through the fire many many times okay you are a strong independent um, you know woman and spirit is trying to make you realize that you are unattached you just need to realize that you are already free there is no decision that really needs to be made it's all an illusion right so you just need to believe it is what I'm seeing here so there is really nothing holding you back you've already placed the final piece of the puzzle um, the moon card is your present position this is the dark night of the soul facing your fears head-on and um, putting them to rest finally right because it's stopping you okay nine of Pentacles future position is independence it's an arrival having everything that you desire being able to splurge you know go on trips vacations but it's really represents ripeness readiness um, independence freedom and it has to do with the 3d world so remember the the ace of pentacles showed up oh god in your or sorry the masculine's past position so um, there was an offer made, so I feel that the Ten of Pentacles is in the future, right? That was, that's what you guys, the feminine, were bringing into the union, that Ten of Pentacles. So that, that I feel that the masculine will come and offer that um, Ace of Pentacles, and the feminine's holding the, the Ace of Cups. So it's like this energy exchange, um, you know, of love and manifestation in the future. So this nine turns into a ten. So I think Spirit is asking you to finally just release yourself from your fears um, and um, gain your freedom, your independence. Uh, feel stable, grounded. Look at all the all that you've achieved in the past. The Eight of Pentacles there, and you have you deserve to be happy, free, and independent. Really. So whatever decision needs to be made will be made in the future um, whether it's by you or somebody else I don't know but either way let go of those fears um, and yeah there's abundance harvest is in the future hope that made sense okay what's in your external environment observe wow the hangman again um, so this was the overall energy for the masculine. It's really cool that it's showing up in your external environment. So this energy is coming directly from him. Um, so this is, you know, stepping back, um, letting go of control, uh, and seeing things from a different perspective. Seven of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Awesome. 
and the Nine of Swords in the future. So Seven of Swords, uh, this is envy, deception, you know, feeling like somebody's going to stab you in the back. So it's a past position. So he's overcome this. He has actually changed his, his focus from fear and what if this, what if that, to a more grounded energy, the Ten of Pentacles. He has his vision in his mind of manifesting, you know, this happy ending into the 3D reality. So this is more of a retirement, not having to worry about money. Um, so it's a long-term goal, right? We've got the 9 here and then the 10. So this is confirmation that he's bringing that completion to the union, the 10. So future position, nine of swords. This showed up in his past position. So here, you know, the, the fears are being recycled back into his life again. Um, so, you know, this is worry, guilt, uh, stress, anxiety. But the nine means nearing the completion of that. So he's going to go through that cycle many, many times before he can finally release himself once and for all. Um, so yes, transformation, seeing things from a diff different perspective is the main card. So change in perspective from negative to positive, positive to negative. And he will continue to, like I said, um, flow through that cycle until he finally purges and releases whatever fears he has. Okay, so what do you fear? Oh, jeez. Five of swords, win or lose. So again with this card. Um, same card here. Heart-centered energy as well. You fear... Um, you know, this is walking away from negativity, conflict, drama. So why do you fear it? Five of Wands, Seven of Cups, and Temperance card. So five of wands showed up in your near future position. So this is showing up in the past. So this is overcoming obstacles and challenges. And you can see that with the chariot. You were very successful at it. Um, so the seven of cups is having many choices, not knowing which one to choose. So it's confusion. Um, you don't, you fear that negative energy will come towards you if you choose a certain path. Um, or you just don't want to be involved in negative thoughts. You want that to be left in the past. Um, but there is a situation in your environment that you do need to deal with, that you need to release, okay? And, um, and that comes with truthful conversation, communication. Uh, so don't fear that, you know, if you're, you're scared to communicate your truth with somebody, because of conflict, well, then you're just going to continue to, to keep yourself in that mental prison, you know, in that dark, dark mental prison. Uh, future position, we have the temperance card. So this is the ultimate union card for twin flames. This is, you know, the souls re-combining back together. It's the joining of the yin and yang. She represents the yes sign. Um, so... This also represents having balance in all areas of your life. Uh, so it is an ultimate balance card, harmony. So I think what Spirit is asking you to do is just to, again, release control, just like the masculine, and trust that destiny is in your future, that this beautiful union is in your future. So again, whatever you need to let go of, whatever conflict, whatever negative energy, whatever decisions there are that are kind of making you feel confused and afraid, release it, let it go once and for all. Walk through that, that barrier of darkness. Okay, so what's at the bottom of the deck? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Six of wands, awesome. Believe and succeed. So this is success and victory. Um, so, yeah, this is, you know, being on the right spiritual path, but also being the rock star, um, being placed on a pedestal, and people are cheering for you, they see you as, you know, um, this leader, and very successful, um, so they use you as an example, right, so overall energy here is believing in yourself. You know, and seeing how you are that star and shining your light. Um, you know, let go of this illusion of 
feeling locked out and resist that temptation to close yourself off. So I really feel that you feminines are, are really opening up and um, discovering your shine. Ooh, your light. Sorry about that. Okay, so a card just dropped on the ground. I'm so curious to see what that was. Of course, it's right under my chair. Oh, geez, sorry about that. <laughs> Two cups, awesome. So, friendliness. So, this talks about releasing attachments, not, you know, being in love with somebody and not owning them, not wanting to, you know, be married to them, just really enjoying who they are and being able to live free. So, let me read that for you. If I can find it. All right, I'll just look at the front. So number 100. Okay. The branches of these two flowering trees are intertwined and their fallen petals blend together on the ground in their beautiful colors. It is as if heaven and earth are bridged by love but they stand individually, each rooted in the soil, in their own connection with the earth. In this way, they represent the essence of true friends, mature, easy with each other, natural. There is no urgency about their, their connection, no neediness, to, no desire to change the other into something else. This card indicates a readiness to enter this quality of friendliness. In the passage, you may notice that there are no longer uh, interest that you are no longer interested in all kinds of dramas and romance that other people are engaged in. It is not a loss; it is the birth of a higher, more lovingly quality, born of fullness of experience. It is the birth of love that is truly unconditional, without expectations or demands. That is so beautiful. That, yeah, that's exactly what I'm seeing, right? No expectations, no desires, no wants. It's really fully releasing that. And, you know, experiencing true love. True love does not have demands or expectations. No fears attached to it. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from the card bear and read. So this will be the final message from the universe. This one. Breathe. Okay. So, the oracle message. Patience is all things, sorry, patience in all things is called the right now. And that's what this temperance card is as well. It says now, patience, she represents patience, being in the now. What do you need to do when you're in a rush? Slow down, of course, meditate and trust, breathe and repeat. Humans cannot exist without drawing breath. Now is the time to allow the life-giving element of air to replenish your body, your being, and your very essence. Stop to smell the roses. Breathe, breathe in the sunlight and release the darkness, and miracles will happen. Yeah. Breathe in that light and release the darkness. Where's that moon card? There we go. But yeah, independence, freedom is really what I'm seeing here. All right, so... Let me know if this resonated. <clears throat> Sorry, resonated. <laughs> I love you guys. Cheers.